this wrestler has a very muscular hand so he can easily lift heavy objects now what happened one day was a heavy weight fell on his arm breaking his arm bone so now that his arm bone was broken he could not even move his hands in spite of having a muscular hand he could not move his arms leave alone pick up heavy objects so from here it is clear that bones provide support to the muscles and bones and muscles together facilitate movement or locomotion see the muscles the muscles remain attached to the bones and both the muscle and the bone associated with each other facilitates movement in a person so this is what a bone looks like under the microscope now compare between the structure of bone that with a connective tissue proper see it has all the characteristics of a connective tissue proper it has scattered cells and there is also a large amount of matrix present between these cells and since bone they provide support to our body they are known as the supportive connective tissue so the bone provides hardness and rigidity to our body they provides support to our body and hence are known as the supportive connective tissue now the bones provide toughness and rigidity to our body they also have a protective function bones protect the inner delicate organs from mechanical stress see this is the rib cage which is made up of multiple bones these bones they form a cage like structure protecting the internal delicate heart and the lungs from a big blow so the rib cage protects the heart and the lungs from any mechanical stress so what provides hardness to the bone well these are the scattered cells and this is the matrix so what provides hardness to the bones is the matrix this matrix is composed of two minerals known as calcium and phosphorus so calcium and phosphorus provides this rigidity and hardness to the bones so calcium and phosphorus together makes a bone tough this calcium and phosphorus is present in the matrix of the bone tissue so these are the scattered cells and this is the matrix which is composed of calcium and phosphorus that provides the strength and the rigidity to the bones now what are these pore like structures see there are these pore like structures present in the bone tissue what are they and why are they present well let us see these pore like structures are known as canals and they are present in the bone tissue to accommodate the blood vessels and the nerves so the pore or the canal is present in the bone in the bone tissue so that they can accommodate the blood vessels and the nerve supply so bones provide 
toughness to our body then why are our ears so flexible well this is because our ears or the ear pinna is made up of a flexible proteinaceous fiber known as the cartilage see this is what a cartilage looks like it is elastic and flexible and these are made up of the proteinaceous fibers so cartilage they are softer than bones because their matrix consist of calcium in smaller amount calcium is the main soul responsible for the hardness in the bones since calcium is present in lesser amounts in this cartilage tissue that is why cartilages are less harder than bones but cartilage provides support to the portion of the body where it is situated like the ear pinna see it is providing support to your ears and so cartilage is also another supportive connective tissue connective tissue because they have scattered cells and the space between the cells are filled with a matrix like this and this matrix is uh, made of proteins and a small amount of calcium so this is a bone tissue this is a cartilage tissue now point out the similarities well both of them they have scattered cells and they also have a large amount of matrix between the cells these yellow part and this part this is the matrix that is present in both the cartilage and the bone but what about the canals that are present in the bone are the canals present in the cartilages too no there are no canals present in the cartilage so cartilage is a non porous tissue that has no blood vessels and nerve supply so since there are no canals there are no blood vessels and no nerve supply so unlike bone which is a porous tissue because of the presence of this pore or canal which accommodates the blood vessels and the nerve supply the cartilage is a non porous tissue it does not have a canal in them and since there are no canals they do not have blood vessels or nerve supply